Okie doke. Hi there, this is Cole here with more Hexcrank Live. Continuing at long last. Haunting Ground. I have a working PS2 again. In fact, it is better than ever. Got off, I got it off of eBay, um, and it is modded, so I'll be able to play um, region-free games or, you know, games from everywhere, essentially. So that's cool. That means good stuff for future streams, but for right now, it means I can finish this game, hopefully uh, this weekend. The last time we played, I had escaped, I think, Ricardo? Rodrigo? Something like that. Clone of Fiona's father. And gotten out of the castle itself and into the woods. But, uh, yeah, uh, I guess content warning. Things are going to get real gross here for like a minute. Uh, so I'll let you know when the cutscene comes up. Okay, um, if you had a bad relationship with Huey, and I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten this, um, but he doesn't come and rescue you, and you get the worst ending in the game where Ariolas' uh, plan comes uh, to fruition. Okay, folded memo. Fiona, are you well? Let me tell you about the location you are currently in. This place is known as the Water Tower. That cursed Ricardo has confined you in this tower. It disheartens me to say that there are no exits left in the Water Tower. However, all is not lost, for there is a way to create an exit. Somewhere in the basement, there lies an item known as the Magisterium. After you obtain it, use it at the top floor of the tower. That will open a path that connects the water tower with the House of Truth, where I reside. Also, avoid Ricardo at all costs. He is, for lack of a better word, dangerous. Oh, if only I weren't cur <laughs> oh, if only I weren't cursed with this useless fossil of a body, I would run to your aid. Also, fate hasn't given me that chance. I pray for your safety, Fiona. Lorenzo. Go, Huey. All right. Easy enough. Good dog. Thank you, Huey. There. Good boy. Okay, so I need to get to the basement, find the magisterium, get to the top, and use it to find the path. And some kind of statuette. Oh, it's another one of these things, yeah. Sublimatum container. May the wise sage, seer of all, show the testament of proof to the wounded and thusly receive 
deserve it compensation. What fresh hell is this? Fiona. Damn you, you useless mutts. Oh, he's invisible. I forgot about that. <laughs> It works directly on the eyes. You can't see me, can you? You are mine. I own you. You are mine. I own you. <laughs> There's nowhere to run. So anyway. Let's try and hide from the hollow man here. What in the... How did he get... Oh, he wasn't in front of me. He was behind me. Does he not go upstairs? <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, okay. So it lulls you into a false sense of security by cutting off the music when he's trying to get an edge on you. I just need a place to hide. Did anybody in chat find a, like, see a cabinet that I passed or a table that I could hide under? Uh, because Ricardo seems... And she went limp. All of that I have to go through again? He was chasing me when I passed the save point. Zimchuk asks, would PS1 memory cards still be holding data after 25 years? Mine do? But a lot of that data isn't necessarily from 25 years ago. Oh, 
I'm going to pour myself just a little bit more scotch and then I'm going to stop. Thank you, Huey. Yo, Darren, what it is? It is going just fine. Feeling fine with my new modded PS2. Boiling alive, because I foolishly turned the AC off when it is uh, 90 something degrees out. So I fixed that. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. Zach, Zach says, if I can brag a little, my girlfriend and I just got engaged. Hey, buddy, you don't got a girlfriend anymore. You got a fiance. Congratulations. Thank you for sharing. directly on the eyes. You can't see me, can you? You are mine. I own you. You are mine. I own you. <laughs> There's nowhere to run. <laughs> okay, so... I wonder if I can get far enough ahead of him to use that clock? Hi there, BMAC. forget if these alchemy spaces have clocks in them no no way to no way to save hmm i don't want to go too far back that direction because he's going to get in front of me and turn the 4th of july into the force of the 4th of shit I wonder if that's a way to uh, create traps for Ricardo. I'll have to try that. Darren asks, so what's this guy's deal? Uh, he is an imperfect clone who is trying to harvest Fiona's Azoth or some kind of special alchemical life force. 
Also, he's kind of her uncle, but it's weird because of cloning. Fiona doesn't know very much about her family, because her dad got away from the cult. And yeah, he is he is a wicked creepo. His plan to live forever is to be reborn through Fiona. And um let your mind go to whatever the worst assumptions about that means. Okay, let's see if I can get through this door now, now that he opened it up. Nothing. Okay. It's locked. I can't open it. Another exit. There has to be one somewhere. Okay, I think maybe if I get to the top of the tower, I can flip that lever as long as Ricardo isn't chasing me. And turn the corkscrew stairway to get me to another part of the basement tower. Okay, he's here. Oh, shit. Okay, let's try and scald him. Yeah, Mr. Reciprocity, this is a an extremely B movie kind of conceit. In a, like, Manos, the hands of fate kind of way. So that's not traps, that's just... Fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, an anonymous cheerer, thank you. Okay, let's see if I, let's see if I can, what is that? Is that for my panic? I think the chamomile is the one for stamina. Okay, let's try and get up. Hey there, Toasty, thank you. Um, it's been a while, I mean, I haven't listened to those episodes since we put them out, but I remember liking uh, doing the Final Fantasy Tactics episodes. That is an incredibly good game that I am due for a replay of that desperately needs to be put on the Switch.
But I'm gonna get my job system fixed when we cover, uh... Oh, shit. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, no, I'm gonna get my job system fixed when we do Final Fantasy V in August. Which I need to start playing. Once I beat Final Fantasy Adventure. And resume playing. I guess I started it a while ago. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, this is a big twisty tower. Alright, we're dealing with the Donkey Kong. Hey, Alex. <laughs> this is not good. Ah. Nope, and she is dead as fuck. Okay. Well, now that I know that those water pipes are not traps for Ricardo. <sighs> Alright, let's go back down to the basement, kick those pipes, see if that uh, shakes anything good loose for me. these barrels. <gasps> yeah. Spiders. Here's your problem. Um, let's examine some of the stuff that I picked up. Let's see here. Bronze figurine, a small bronze statue of a man. I have no clue where it should be used. Silver disc, something resembling a star chart. Has been etched onto the face of the board. I have no clue as to where it should be used. Wooden miniature, a small model. In the shape of a bridge, I have no... <laughs> well, what good are you? <laughs> nah, shut sure. Okay, um, something that confirms is that when he goes dark, he can hide in predictable places.
So the frustrating part is I looked at a walkthrough and what I'm doing is correct. This level is just like that. So what I need to do, hey buddy. Good boy. What I need to do is go up there, aggro him and when he's waiting at that spot, run him down here and lose him and then circle back up and trip the leper. Yeah, he's up on that other landing over there. And then... Or not. Um... If he's still standing on that landing, I'm going to be very pissed. He cannot pull a camouflage mill house on me. Am I over here? Or over here? Then why did I have the bowl, Bart? Why did I have the bowl? <laughs> ah! Criminy. This level's really big compared to her stamina level. There's not much to do. Where can I get away to? <laughs> I don't think you're being reasonable. There's no place to hide, so he's kind of always going to be on my tail. <laughs>
And for anybody who has just turned in, uh, yeah, the person chasing me is invisible. Yeah. Okay, this is going to suck. Mac ass, I'm sorry, but what's the deal with the jizzle physics? J the <laughs> jizzle, sorry, with the jiggle physics before the lever pull? Uh, it's just kind of the way the game is. Fiona is sexualized to an extent that I always forget in the stretches between when I play this. All life on the surface of the planet stretches out below the stars as radiant light. All of the events played out on the surface of the planet are colored by the stars as never-ending travels. The true miracle will only occur when the stars that guide universal destiny are linked as one. The planets have been arranged in the following order from the outside in. Saturnus, Jupiter, Mars, Sol, Venus... Mercurius and Luna. All of the planets revolve around the center of the universe. The great planet Terra. Begin the celestial chain from the furthest edge of the universe, Saturnus. However, the path of enlightenment is not singular in nature. Proceed forward with alternate routes in mind. Yeah, that was a Freudian slip. I said jizzle physics instead of uh, to jiggle physics. For that, I apologize. I do not intend to be crass. It's just the way things come out of me. Okay. Okay, I think this is another... Go. This is another Huey uh, and Fiona team-up joint. Um, shit, I should have told him to stay, shouldn't I? Oh, damn it. Something made her step off of it. Go. Stop. Thank you. 
All told, I don't think I would buy the scotch again. So this is Spayburn 10 years. I did a search for, you know, good, reasonably priced scotches. Um, so my brother and I were hanging out and I'll be honest, we, we were hate watching the Trump speech and, uh, we joked about needing scotch. So I picked some up, picked some up. I prefer stuff on the smokier, peatier side of things, like the Lafroig, things like that. This is more astringent than anything. The front taste is really weird, and the aftertaste is really weird, but like what, <laughs> when it's not on the tip of your tongue, it's pretty good. The front taste is pretty astringent, kind of licorice-y. Um, and then at the back, it tastes almost like a, like a funky kind of citrus. Oh, thank you, BMAC, for gifting us up to Mr. Reciprocity. Use the Roars emote with impunity. And I'm going to um, save so I don't have to do that garbage again. There's that good boy. The roars emote in the chat. Hey, is this wooden miniature, the Magisterium, that, uh... There we go. Bridge the way to the House of Truth. I need to open up some of these holes on the side of the wall. <laughs> Come on. Gonna use your gun, big man? Yeah, 
That's right, get over here, you piece of shit. You rapey bastard. I think this is how you do this. these holes on the side of the wall here. Good boy. on someone your own species, dipshit. <laughs> Over there. There's nowhere to run. <laughs> some girl. Um Oh, he closed that distance really quick. I don't think Huey's doing too good. Okay, this is the one. No! Oh, man. Yeah, this is incredibly awkward. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm scared again. Here's another five minutes of this. Okay. We can do this more efficiently. Whoopsie doopsie. Um, I can do this ahead of time. I think this is the only one that I have to have torn down. Okay. Chewie! 
No, <sighs> different thing I need you to do. That's right, that's right. Uh, maybe I can also do this. Where's my antimony? There we go. Get him. Get him off the tower. There we go. You should have fallen like three minutes ago. Their totes would not have been a bridge there. What's up, Lorenzo? Ricardo, you were always incomplete. Are these assholes gonna make me walk down to the bottom floor? Guess what? In the YouTube archive, this is sped up. Well, at the very least, they, uh, it seems like they're not going to make me shift the floors around, which would be, uh, way too much. But in a game that makes you do this pointless run back to the bottom of a huge tower, who knows? I think if I sped this up to Benny Hill music, I would get a copyright ding. Yeah, 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 gotta, gotta do it.
Hey, girl. What do you want? Yeah, now squeeze your head till you go away. Pop it like a little clementine. Just no more you. You're too cute to live. Wait a minute, this corpse doesn't have its Azoth. I think this Lorenzo guy this Lorenzo guy's a bad news. Hey girl, what you doing? All right, let's go to the House of Truth. If that is its real name. Might as well soak that now. Ugh. Those arms reaching out of the walls. Something I like about his voice performance is how much slobber is put into it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, he's... Awesome. 
<laughs> so that's my pursuer this time. And uh, he can scoot. go through here and do that um do that medallion slot machine game cuz this will give me stuff to use in the final going I'm bad at this, you guys. Did I just get a free play? I don't know if it's a Kabbalah slot machine. I'm honestly, I'm ignorant of Kabbalah other than just the, uh, you know, weird celebrity fixation on it. I would like to save there, please. Let me see if this helps. Let me see if I can reset him. Nope. Well, <laughs> look at him go. Precious. Yeah, okay. Um, 
Okay. That choker reduces stamina loss, which is good. Because, weirdly, Lorenzo is, I think, the fastest of the uh, pursuers. Well, shit, shit, shit. And there's also really no place to hide from him. You know it is. Fuck! Camera angles got me. Got me vexed. Uh, okay. Yeah, also he has a range attack. Which is that scream. Nope, nope. Get him, boy. Huey. Man. Hold them still, buddy. Don't be afraid to keep some hand for yourself. You've earned it. I said you can't have it. How in the world do I get any kind of distance from this fucker? This is connected to another corridor, but these foreboding bars that seem to keep out all unwanted guests. Come on. Ah, oh, Jesus. Really? My masterfully laid trap did nothing. Okay, hopefully I can, like, interact with things now. That would be good.
Okay, those are flammable, which seems... Okay, I think I remember what I have to do. When I need them, I can't damn find them. Damn hell ass kings. That was some real good biting you did there. <laughs> did he did he fall behind the water heater? What a is that you? Yeah it is. You bet. There he is. Look who came slithering out. Yeah. That's right, Azoth. You want some Azoth, huh? Oh, yeah, you quick. There we go. So, even explosions will not uh, stop him. Okay, that circles back around. Yeah, I know you want it. Oh, right, this.
a good jolt. Okay, so I need the sun door. So, I need to turn him into ground beef. Um, let's see here. Shit. Maybe I have to wear him down just a little bit more. Nope. Almost. Almost. Yeah. It feels like this game has been going on for a really long time, but that's because of the technical difficulty delay. Um, and also, I tend to make easy things hard. Oh, fuck. There we go. Okie doke. Um, PK Super asks, have you played Kuon for Hexcrank yet? No, I have not. Uh, maybe that is a possibility uh, now that I have this modded PS2. Also, hello, PK Super. Um, and I otherwise would not do that. I like buying games to play them generally. This is a you know, a legit copy of Haunting Ground. Uh, but, um, Kuon, a copy of that, a new, would be most of a house payment for me, actually. So, I might have to ethically take one for the team, you know?
please don't judge me. Or at least judge me fairly. Yeah, no, this haunting ground's legit. The rule of rose that I did is legit. Yeah. Yeah, apparently this the, like this skyrocketed in uh, in value um, five years ago when I got this to play on the first duck stream. Um, I'm gonna save just cause it was like seventy seven dollars or something like that. Uh, now I think an opens full box with a manual copy is uh, 300 something dollars something like that it's a lot it's a lot of money for games I do take a perverse amount of pride in the fact that, like, the genre of game that I love is also just the most expensive stuff. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any goddamn sense at all. Like, it is, it is not a thing to feel pride about, but it's like, oh yeah, these are, like, games that nobody bought, but a small group of people highly prize enough to make it, you know, to make the actual items themselves valuable. Yeah, and if that uh, $75 seems low, when I first got this, when I first bought a copy for myself instead of checking one out from GameStop, when I worked there, I think it was $15 is what I paid for it, and I gave it to a girlfriend who never gave it back. Um, hi, Dog Nozzle. Dog Nozzle asks, have you... Have you gotten that book on yokai? Yokai, rather. Um, that you mentioned on a podcast recently. Yeah, it's really neat. It's a cool little bestiary. I'm kind of working my way, my way through it like I do with most of my reference stuff. Just a little bit of an article at a time. Um, the, the, these something wedged in between these two books. Translation error. mystery sketch. Fortis strengthens the body for a limited amount of time. Magnus. Magnus's little box. Is this the painting's title? Oh, right. Yeah, no, that's a thing for a second playthrough. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of... A little bit of additional context. Let's, uh, let's go back downstairs. Um, I'm going to go through, and then the next save spot that I get after these upcoming cutscenes, I'm, uh, I'm going to save, and then I'm going to finish this game tomorrow. I am very near to the end.
Okay, let's use Lorenzo's soul key. Oh, well, I guess that's it. <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to advance because it, it will make more sense if I do the uh, cutscenes tomorrow for the last dungeon and bosses of the game. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for your patience as I got my PS2 situation sorted out. It seems to have worked for the better. I was able to afford it because of generous support both in the Twitch subs and also on the hex screen Patreon. So thanks to everybody who has given to that currently or over the past. It helps me get stuff uh, for these videos. Um, yeah. Well, um, I will see you all tomorrow night to finish out this game. Um, if you are in America and celebrating this holiday, be safe and have fun. And if you're not in America and not celebrating a holiday, be safe and have fun. Good night. Thank you.
Thank you.